Alright guys, so I haven't done one of these in a while, and that is who would win, where I talk about two characters, what would it be like if they fought, and you guys tell me in the comments below who you think would come out on top in this matchup. And today I got a Marvel Ruby matchup between Taskmaster uh, and Velvet from Team Caffey. Um, and yeah, this one I thought would be pretty interesting, and you guys are probably thinking, Taskmaster would fucking kill Velvet. Not necessarily. When you think about it, Velvet is pretty much a hero version of Taskmaster. For those wondering why I bring this up, there was recently a novel, um, well, not recently, but there was a novel that focused on Team Cappy after the events of the fall of Beacon. And in there, we reveal, they reveal Velvet's semblance, which is she has muscle memory. Now, basically what that is, is she can copy... If she watches somebody long enough, she can copy their movements and fighting style. And that's exactly also what Taskmaster has. So, yeah. It also explains why when Velvet was using her weapon and cycling through all of the different weapons she was using, it, was, it shows why she was able to use them so easily. Because she watched Yang, Ruby, Weiss and Blake and the others, and that's why she could cycle through her, those weapons so easily and use them with ease, because she watched all of the other all the other heroes and hunters, and hunters and watched them and then copied their moves. And that's exactly what Taskmaster does. Now, if you don't know who, a lot about Taskmaster, he is a, a Marvel villain who is a mercenary. And like, uh, like Velvet, he has muscle memory. And he... Now, he can't copy the powers of characters, but he copies the movements and fighting styles of those characters. So if he sees Hawkeye shoot an arrow, he can shoot an arrow like Hawkeye. If he sees Captain America throw a shield, he can throw the shield in the same exact way and have it come back to him. If he sees, like, uh, like Black Widow fighting or Shang-Chi fighting, he can see and read those movements, and he can cycle through all those movements because he can remember every fight. He's, he can remember all those different fighting styles and just cycle through them and switch them up like that. Um, now the other thing you have to understand is that Taskmaster doesn't really have a lot of um, like he basically has like your basic weapons. He doesn't really carry a lot of adamantium or vibranium weapons. He has been known to, but he's, he, he considers them a little too weighted and he needs to be flexible when he's fighting all these characters. He's taken on multiple Avengers at once, and he's taken on, you know, some big names in the Marvel Universe. I'm talking like Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man. You name him, he's pro you name them, he's probably fought them one point or another. Hell, he's going to be taking on Black Widow in the MCU very soon. The major thing you have to look at with this, um, with the character of of uh, Taskmaster is that even though he has all this gear and weaponry and skill, he's still human. He is still a human being, and he, I mean, granted, he does have a, you know, he is like peak physical condition, but he doesn't have like a super soldier serum or a healing factor. If he gets hurt, he's gonna bleed. Now, um, Taskmaster, of course, carries like bows and arrows, guns, swords, a shield, um, and he carries knives, uh, bullets, bolas. And he, the man is a living weapon. He can, he's also a master hand-to-hand -hand fighter, um, and he's a skilled tactician. This dude has managed to outsmart Captain America, Punisher, uh, Deadpool, a lot of people in the Marvel Universe. He is known as Marvel's greatest mercenary for a reason, although Wade Wilson is kind, kind of debates him for that role. Um, anyway... So that's the big thing with him. Now, Velvet, on the other hand, Velvet is uh, still very young, but she knows how to use her semblance very well and he uses her weapon to kind of like cycle through all those weapons as well. It's not like with Taskmaster, who sometimes gets weighted down with all of the gear he has to use. Velvet can just, on a whim, s switch from Yang's gauntlets to Ruby's scythe to Weiss's sword to just like that. And and able to use them exactly how Ruby, Yang, and the others would. It's also kind of hinted that she's also copied the fighting styles of, like, her teammates. So her weapon could easily just switch to, you know, um, 
uh, Yatsu's or Fox's blades or Coco's gun. It's, um, it's very, actually, no, I think, yeah, they do show that, that she copied Velvet's gun in, if I remember right, in the episode where we last saw them. Um, but yeah. Now, the other thing that Velvet has is that she's very, she, um, has, of course, like all characters in, uh, Ruby is an aura, which kind of acts like a barrier. So she could probably take a few shots and maybe even a few swipes of the sword that, um, Taskmaster carries and take a few bullets, but that but you have to remember that aura is wears down. And the other thing too is that these two are going to be studying each other. Taskmaster hasn't really fought anyone like him. He's never really encountered someone who uses their abilities exactly like him. The closest is his daughter Finesse, who yeah, thanks Dennis Hopeless for killing her off. Fuck you. That was a great character. Anyway, I digress. Um so that's the big thing, is that these two characters are going to be, like, cycling through each other, and they're going to be studying each other. Like, there could be one moment where Velvet is watching him fight like, a Taskmaster fight like Spider-Man, and she's going to copy it, then he's going to see her fight like Ruby, he's going to copy it. But he has, a, and also, you have to remember that Taskmaster is older, and he takes on metahumans on a daily basis. Velvet's still young, and she still makes her mistakes. And since the solo fight, she, um, there's not, no Team Cat V, you know, Caffeine, helping her or backing her up. This is a one-on-one -on -one fight, and Velvet is, works best when she's on a team. She's a team player. Taskmaster has been fighting, while he does work with other characters, he's more of a lone wolf and has taken out multiple characters on his own, whereas Velvet is still, like, young and she's still training, and she has difficulty fighting on her own despite her incredible power. So this is a really tough one. It's going to come down to who can cycle through the weapons and who can cycle through their fighting styles faster. And that's going to be the big um, the big question right there. Also, I do believe Velvet might actually will go for, kill, for killing blows in um, this matchup. So there you go, guys. Um, you guys tell me, so you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you think would come out on top in this matchup? If you think Taskmaster would win, put a hashtag Taskmaster wins and list the reasons why you think Taskmaster would come out on top. However, if you think Velvet would win, uh, put hashtag Velvet wins and list off the reasons why you think she would come out on top in this matchup. This is a really tough one. And yeah, even uh, but you have to, you know, you have to equate to skill and just just who's been at this game longer and even though Taskmaster's done that he does have a bit of arrogance to him and all that but I'll leave it up to you guys so once again hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you guys later